द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थ्योरी एंड द थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट बोथ इन इट सेल्फ एंड गिविंग दैम वुड हैव बीन अ मोर डिफिकल्ट बट इवन मोर डिफिकल्ट इज टू टेल द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दीज टू सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दीज टू थ्योरीज विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ स्टोरी सो carefully hear it and before moving forward i request you to please subscribe my channel i am very close to 400 subs and give a like to this video hope you will do it so let's begin this video if the structure of physics is a mention then the laws introduced by newton kepler and galileo are the corner stones of that mention all those who were the physicists around 18th and 19th century such as euler lagrange laplace faraday and maxwell All of them have been trying to direct the upward extension of this mansion. But until 1883 when a big jerk is given by a German physicist Ernest Mach who first successfully challenged Newtonian thoughts. He pointed out that the concept of Newton on a space and time was really weak. He makes us to understand that since time is necessarily measured by the repetitive motion of some physical systems. For instance the pendulum of a clock or the revolution of the earth about the sun. then the properties of time must be connected with the laws which describes the motion of a physical systems in other words to understand the properties of time we must observe the properties of clocks so regarding space mac argued that as per newton space can be understood by measuring rods to describe the positions in space but in mac's view we need to look at the nature of the space not to any platonic ideas However the immediate cause for the overthrow of Newtonian physics was not Max criticism the difficulty lay with the Maxwell's electromagnetic theory his theory predicted that electromagnetic disturbance in empty space would propagate at a speed of light but uh, there were some conceptual difficulties the only way which were known to us at that time were mechanical waves which need some kind of a medium to propagate like solid liquid or a gas For example a sound wave in air consists of higher and lower region of waves propagating with a speed of 330 meter per second but in case of electromagnetic waves propagation it seems to be different at this time due to the mentality of classical mechanics each and every one had thought that there must be some kind of medium in the space through which the electromagnetic waves travel and they named it as ether which interfere with the motions of the planet so that the waves could attain the speed of a light but maxwell's theory itself made no essential reference to the ether and he was also not able to accept the idea of waves propagating in empty space so now i will tell you that how the concept of ether was wrong as we know the speed of sound is relative if we go towards or away from the sound its velocity would appear to be greater or less which we known as a doppler effect So similarly the same case must be also applied on the waves of electromagnetism where the medium would be an ether Two physicists Michelson and Morley demonstrated the most famous unsuccessful experiment to detect the ether After a long research and with a lot of hard work they came with an extremely disappointing results that ether doesn't exist in this universe This experiment shook the foundation of electromagnetic theory because its basis was based on the Newton's classical mechanics and which is proved as like it doesn't exist so finally at last einstein came and pointed out that ether is not the fault of electromagnetic theory but arising from an error in the basic dynamical principles he argued that since the velocity of light predicted by electromagnetic theory involves no reference to medium so it must be a universal constant and same for all observers and later the same thing become the basis of einstein's theory of relativity So we can conclude that if the velocity of light were not a universal constant that is if the ether could be detected then the principle of relativity would fail Some physicists regarded the absence of ether as a paradox Einstein saw that its absence preserved the simplicity of the principle of relativity So guys that's all for this video please subscribe my channel and help me to reach 400 subs as soon as possible and don't go without liking this video So at last thank you for watching